G'day, welcome back. So we're here with the wife's Hyundai Santa Fe. Needs a new wheel bearing, so we're gonna sort that out this morning. Got the new one here, genuine Hyundai, uh, direct from Korea. And yeah, let's get into it. So here it is, uh, 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe DM uh, 2.2 diesel with 245,000 kilometers. Right, and here are the tools you're gonna to need to do the job. So we've got a breaker bar, got a ball peen hammer, got a torque wrench, needs to go up to 200 foot pounds. Mine doesn't, oh well. Got a punch to do the locking nut, uh, 21 mil wheel socket thing to take the uh, wheel nuts off, 40 mil sockets, different lengths for the brake caliper and bearing. Got a swivel because access is a bit tight. Screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver for the Break this retaining screws, a half inch ratchet, half inch electric impact gun, a 32 mil axle socket. Really important, well, it's not that important. It's quite important to use a decent socket for your axle nut. It's done up to a high torque. Uh, you don't want to have it break whilst you're leaning on it. You don't want to round off that nut or break anything. So a decent axle nut socket is definitely worth a go. This one is a Tool Pro one, of course. Uh, six sided. Thick walled impact socket to take the abuse, and yeah, that's all we needed. Not many tools. All right, so I've just jacked this wheel up. You probably hear the roar. So it's been getting pretty noisy over the last kind of 5,000 k's. We've got no play, no play at all. It's just a noise, really. All right, so. Get the wheel off and uh, do stuff. All right, so first up, we need to get this axle nut off. Uh, but to do that, because it's really tight, I'm going to knock the centre cap out of the wheel, put the wheel back on, loosen it on the ground, check it back up, and carry on. Ta -da. That was a bit of an effort. Right, so, so we did pull on the, on the axle nut, uh, it's knocked in to stop it coming undone. Uh, you can just whip them off anyway, but I'm just going to knock it, knock it out because I can. There's a 32 mil axle nut. I've got a big old bar. These things are tightened to about 200 foot pounds, so it might take a wee bit of grunt to get it shifted. Not too bad. Get this axle nut off. Beautiful. Okay, to get to the uh, wheel bearing, need to get the brake caliper off. Need to get the brake disc off. There's a handbrake mechanism behind there, and there's four bolts that hold it on the uh, wheel bearing. So, crack the caliper off. Uh, we can leave it in. On the carrier here it's just two I think the 40 mil bolts at the back now uh, we'll do that get the disc off there's these couple of retaining screws which hopefully aren't seized in and carry on Bit of life left on those brake pads, we'll get the caliper hooked up there. Oh, we've got these two retaining screws. So here's a quality screwdriver. 
due to the risk of rounding anything. Oh, nice. Nice, we say. One, two. Oh, I've just got to release the handbrake. She blows. There's our handbrake mechanism. Right, so it's got four bolts that hold the bearing in. It's just 14 mil. And quite tight. Third one. Ah, yeah. Right, they're all loose. Took a little strong arm bar. Get them going. Can't really get an air tool, power tool in there, so now I can swap to a ratchet and spin them out. Need to make sure that our drive shaft is free to move in the in the hub. Yeah, it's moving. Well, you could separate the whole uh, CV joint if you were heavy-handed. There we go. One wheel bearing. You hear the noise? The new one on. Two bolts started. Talk spec for those nuts. Uh, apparently, it's 57.9 to 65.1 foot pounds, pound feet, which is 78.5 to 88.3 newton meters, or 8 to 9 kilogram feet dot m, whatever that is. So, hopefully, we can talk up most of those, not all of them. Let's see if we get the torque wrench in.
two of them torqued. Easy to. Three of them torqued. Just wanted to bash my torque wrench out of alignment. Done. I'm going to put the disc on dry. You can put on whatever you want. Line up our holes. But I will put a wee bit of uh, copper grease on these retaining screws because they're my worst nightmare, those things. Snip those up. Let's clean up our brake disc a wee bit. The grubby hand marks off. Pop our caliper back on, so it looks like I need some pads sometime eventually. Not right now. Right, that's our brake caliper on. I don't know what the torque is for that, so we'll just do it good and tight. There's a lock washer on there. They weren't super tight to begin with. Yeah, that's good and tight. Another axle nut. I feel like starting it by hand for a little bit to see what it feels like. Feels good. Stick it on there. That's what she's got. We'll get it on the ground, give it a good tighten, and we're done. So we'll just lay this down, we'll torque the axle nut, take the wheel off again, uh, stamp down the end of the, the locking piece on the nut, and we're done. Yeah. 
Our tightening torque on this nut is 200 foot pounds. Uh, my torque wrench only goes up to uh, 160. So we're going to do it to 160 and about a grunt and a half after that. So. Alright, so we'll give it all it's got on this and we'll take it off, stick the bar on, give it a wee tickle. That's 160. Let's loosen off our torque wrench. Didn't feel overly tight when I took it off. Oh dear. We'll get somewhere near. Yeah, it certainly didn't feel any tighter than that. Well, I'm happy with that, that's good and tight. We come up here with our punch and an hammer. Yes, you should probably use a new hub nut. It didn't come with one and it's not a nylock or anything like that, so we'll just go with this one. I'll probably get a new nut at some point. Just talk the wheel nuts up. Um, yeah, and they always come in a range on high end eyes for some reason, so I go for about 82 foot pounds. Yeah. Certainly up. Time for a test drive. I'll put the uh, center cap in, I just need to glue the high end eye logo back on. Let's go for a quick scooch around the block, see if it's any better. I'm picking it will be. So that's taking about 45 minutes with fluffing around, so go for a drive. So yeah, that's a whole lot quieter than it was. So there you go, that's our rear wheel bearing on our 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe. Definitely the problem. Uh, pretty simple job. Need a couple of decent tools and yeah, not too bad. So comment, like, subscribe and hopefully won't be too much more work to do on this car. It's pretty much brand new, but uh, go from there. Cheers.